Hello friends. Do you struggle with post-breakfast stubbornly high blood sugar levels and want to know what foods for breakfast impacts blood sugar the most? I tested six of my most common breakfasts to see which were favorable for my blood sugar and which ones I should forget based on my CGM or continuous glucose monitor readings. If you're new to my channel, please let me introduce myself. Or if you know me already, skip ahead to see which breakfast foods cause serious blood sugar spikes. I'm not kidding, like serious spikes. My name's Trevor from Home in the Range. I've had type 1 diabetes for over 40 years, raised two type 1 kids, and worked as a diabetes educator, and simply want to share everything that has helped me along my diabetes journey. Let's get to it. Breakfast number one, and my favorite, crustless quiche. And let me tell you, I have a killer recipe for this one, but I'm not going to share it during this video, but maybe in the future. This one is very low on the carb count, 4.5 grams per quiche. 20 grams plus protein, and ample fat to keep those blood sugar spikes to a minimum. Let's take a look what it does to my blood sugar though. The post meal spike was minimal at 6.4, as you can see by my CGM, or continuous glucose monitor graph. Four hours post, I was back to normal range at six. And as a type one diabetic, this is key for me. Breakfast item number two, cereal. Now, as you can see too, I chose healthier cereals, not the sugar coated stuff. I won't name any brand names because I'm not sure if I can do that on YouTube yet. But I chose a cereal that was very high in fiber and also had a little bit of protein. As a type 1, I actually gave up cereal a long time ago. I just found it always spiked my blood sugar. So let's see what happens to this one. It was good eating it, but this one had more of a spike than the quiche. As you can see, it caused a spike of 3.8. Imagine what those sugary cereals do to my blood sugar. But honestly, not too bad. Breakfast food number 3, toast. Common thing in most households, throw a couple pieces of toast in, go have your shower as a diabetic, take your insulin, come back down, eat your toast. As you can clearly see though, this breakfast messed with my blood sugars. With an overall rise of 4.5 up to 12.7, at which it peaked at, and required some microboluses to get it down. I admittedly tend to avoid this one, unless mixed with protein like eggs, to lower the glycemic index, which I've talked about in previous videos. Because the GI index, if it's lower, it absorbs slowly and turns into sugar in your blood a lot slower. Even then, in this case, adding a bit of butter to the toast still didn't help. Please leave a comment and like my videos if you're enjoying this. Let me know in the comments what foods spike your blood sugar. Next up, bacon. Technically, a Canadian food group. Bacon is very high in fat and has a decent amount of protein. And I really don't eat it a lot. But when I do, my gosh, it is delicious. But as you can see here, it had absolutely minimal impact on my blood glucose. A very small spike in glucose at 1.6. My goodness, I love bacon. I should also talk about really briefly that blood sugars are more difficult for me to control in the morning because of that dawn phenomenon, which is kind of worn off by the time you're eating breakfast, but it's still, I find my blood sugars really stubborn in the mornings. So I choose foods that tend to digest a little bit slower or have no impact on my blood sugar. That's why I'm sharing this video. Another popular breakfast food I sometimes eat is Greek styled yogurt. And most have higher amounts of protein and fat, which tends to help lessen the glucose spike. I tend to mix it in with a bit of sugar-free syrup to give it a bit of flavor. And we'll add some berries and nuts too. But today I'm sticking just to the basic yogurt. For this experiment, I wanna see what it does to my blood sugar. As you can see here by my video, I'm really enjoying the Greek yogurt. And as you can see on my CGM graph, I spiked a little bit at 7.9, a total rise of 2.2. One of the breakfast foods I plan to keep eating. It's really convenient to grab in the morning on the way out the door. Last but not least, another very popular food we eat for breakfast all over the world, I believe, is oatmeal. In this case, I chose to make up some steel cut oats, a little bit more on the healthier side. And I forgot to mention the toast that I made was also a multi-grain toast with a fair bit of fiber. I've tried to eat oatmeal many times over the years, hoping that it would agree with my blood sugar. And here's another example. If you look at my CGM monitor, continuous glucose monitor, it did spike. It went up to 12.3 for a total spike of 6.5, which is way too high for my liking. It also required a microbolus of insulin to bring it down into the right range for lunch. Once again, I proved to myself certain breakfast foods I should avoid. This list is not an exhaustive list of breakfast foods, but one that a lot of diabetics eat. And with three very low carb to no carb choices and three higher carb choices, it shows which foods affects my blood sugar the most. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see future videos. And check out my latest video here on surprising foods that you wouldn't think spike blood sugar, but do. Until next time, wishing you all 
healthy in-range blood sugars. Bye for now.